Well, ladies and gentlemen, whilst there are some sporting organisations out there who have finally taken steps to make sure women's sports firstly isn't eroded based in truth and is fair, there are still some who haven't quite got the message and are still on the train of woke ideology. They're going full steam ahead at the expense of everybody involved, all the women involved, and aren't willing to stop at any station. This time, as you've seen by the title and thumbnail, is all to do with tennis. Yes, add that to the long list of sports we've covered facing this issue. But not only did they allow a man to compete against women, not only did they progress through multiple rounds, they reached the final and won. It gets ever so tiresome. Male tennis player Alicia or Alicia Rowley is the latest women's national tennis champion and winner of the coveted Golden Ball. Rowley has recently won the women's 55 plus grass court national championships and national indoor singles and doubles. So once again, just like any other time when we talk about this issue, ladies and gentlemen, we have a sporting organization. This time it's the US Tennis Association putting somebody's feelings, individual truths, beliefs above all the women involved at the expense of all the women involved because we know the agenda is you have to reaffirm somebody's belief, individual truth, even if it completely discredits the sport and deceives everybody watching. Remember, ignore your own eyes and your own ears. And just about with anything, it doesn't have to be just sport. You have to have the foundations based in truth, reality, and fairness. I think we can all agree on that, right? So number one, having a man competing against a woman isn't fair. So scratch that one off. When said man is identifying as a woman and competing against a woman, not only is that not fair, but it goes against the truth. So scratch that one off. And then obviously because that goes against the truth, it goes against reality. So scratch that one off. How can you have any credibility when right off the get-go, you're going in the opposite direction of truth, reality, and fairness? How can you be a respectable competition people want to compete in? It's completely backwards. But let's just take a look at some of the results in this competition of the matches that the male was involved in. And uh, just as you can imagine, complete domination. In the quarterfinal, it was 6-1, 6-0. Semi-final, 6-1, 6-2. The final, 6-3, 6, -3, 6 -4. Four. So I think it's safe to say, you know, based off those results I just read out, any woman who came across this man, which they shouldn't be doing in the very first place, but any woman who came across this man simply had no chance. You know, it seems like they were on quite the rampage. I wonder how they would have done in the male side of things. Probably not too well, if I had to guess. You know, we see this quite a lot of the time. Men will compete against women because they know they'd fare a lot better. I mean, just take Leah Thomas, for example. But this situation has caused quite the controversy online with a few notable figures coming in and giving their opinions on the matter. Jordan Peterson sends out the following tweet. Isn't he just a darling? Kim Shasby Jones, who is a women's sports advocate, goes on to say, women's tennis is turning into a laughing stock because of these terrible policies prioritizing the mental health and identity of men over women who have discovered a love for tennis. The women are calling us and begging for help to be allowed to play fairly. They have complained they don't don't know where else to turn. Men are winning national titles, taking the place of women on team tennis and competing in women's tournaments across the country. We need to let the women and girls playing tennis know that they deserve to be treated fairly and recognized for the accomplishments no matter when they pick up the sport. They do not have to reach any kind of elite status. There is already a category for male athletes to enjoy this privilege. Let female athletes enjoy the game of tennis too. Change the policy and at Billie Jean King, change your stance. Don't abandon these women and this sport any longer. And you know, I'll just reiterate some of those points from right off the get-go we've said many times it doesn't matter what level it is elite level or low level women should not be competing against men girls should not be competing against boys it simply shouldn't be happening now according to this lady women have complained and they don't know where else to turn that's shocking if i'm going to be honest with you you know you're complaining to the tennis association which i'm going to assume they were doing and they're not doing anything about it i don't know if the women who were involved in this competition with this certain scenario complained judging by the picture they took with this male i don't think they probably did but who knows you know i could be wrong there they may have been forced to take a picture because as we know if you do voice your opinion on such things you can face consequences but i do think taking those consequences when you voice your opinion is worth it in the long run you know those consequences are really insignificant what i think should happen is when a male is competing against women they should just boycott the game come off the field before it even starts or refuse to take pictures refuse to stand on the podium that's how you voice your opinion that's how you make your voices be heard but tennis legend martina navratilova also weighs in on the situation and goes on to say come on usta women's tennis is not for failed male athletes whatever age this is not right and it is not fair would this be allowed at the us open this month just with self id i don't think so now martina navratilova is somebody who i don't agree with on most of the stuff she says politically but on this issue i do 
You know, she's called out this issue beforehand, which should be applauded. Women's sport isn't for failed male athletes, no matter the age, no matter the sport. And in this case, you know, the clear physical advantage in tennis would be on show by the male because, well, most likely they would be able to hit the ball a lot harder. You don't need to be a science major to see that, you know, it's based in common sense. If you took a group of male tennis athletes and a group of female tennis athletes and you asked them to hit the ball as hard as they could, who's going to come out? on top yeah exactly you know it seems like with common sense truth reality and fairness being in this direction society is just so intent so insistent on going in the opposite direction you know hopefully with this getting a lot of noise a lot of traction it forces the tennis association to put in a policy but judging you know based off the track record of other sporting organizations if they were going to implement something it would be at a snail's pace people are going to have to boycott games voice their opinion quite a bit for them to you know even put a policy in place because for some reason they just like to avoid the truth you know it's like oh wait, wait what the truth is that what, what what you know i don't know who's in charge of these organizations who runs these associations but what i do know is they need to sit down do some self-reflection probably put a mirror in front of them and ask themselves what am i doing why am i putting the large majority at a disadvantage for the small minority for the vocal minority it seems like they're controlling a large part of the world right now ladies and gentlemen now i'm just going to quickly interject at the end of this video i don't normally do this but i've just seen a tweet come across my timeline and i want to share it with you guys because it's absolutely amazing breaking news riley Gaines has sent out the following tweet saying save women's sports act is now law in texas thanks to the leadership of gov abbott mayors middleton valerie for texas for getting this through onto the next state which state should we push for next all of them now i'm just going to play this little clip she also attached to it is now law in the state of Texas. This is what happens when people come together, when amazing women like Riley Gaines come together and want change. You can make it happen. This is great. But leave your thoughts and opinions down below on this story. I want to hear them all. If you have enjoyed today, please for me, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. Share this video. But until next time, it has been your boy JD. Have a great day. Stay safe. And I'm out. Peace.